this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is D Channel Guns. Coming to you another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, sharing, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the information. Appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the 2 community. Like I said before, y'all are the star people. I'm just a mess with just every citizen trying to hold the Constitution to defend the Second Amendment. So um, I know some of y'all hear me say the same thing over and over and stuff. But at the same time, you know, I pay respect where respect due. I have people come over here, leave comments. Um, take the time out of the day, um, smash the like button, share on their favorite social media platforms. Um, to my, just, you know, y'all do a lot for the Twitter community, so I just want to thank y'all. If nobody does, I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all and everything. And uh, I want to appreciate the new people that's coming in and stuff. Um, to my, they've seen a lot and everything. They have dealt with a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff they got to learn. I'm still learning. Everybody's still learning when it comes to the Second Amendment people. We have a lot of people who are trying to take that away from me. So, uh, to my, a huge shout out to y'all. Um, pretty much that leave comments and stuff. I'm talking about you do a lot of stuff, you know, and some people go like that extra mile and stuff like that. So I appreciate y'all. And I appreciate y'all again for coming over here every single day through the good and the bad and ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So you know what time it is, people. Let's get into it, people. Ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. It's ammo time. Ammo is the new goal. Everybody's trying to get it, people. I'm talking about, you know, I've been saying that for a long time. You've seen on many videos when I say ammo is the new goal. Ammo is being treated like the new goal right now, people. And, you know, one of the biggest things that, you know, and I've been in ammo for a while. Some of you have been in for a long time. But one of the biggest things that ammo, I said ammo is, it's a different level to ammo now. I'm talking about a lot of people buying ammo, showing ammo and stuff that they're scoring. But some things have changed, people, that we have not seen in a long time. And when it comes to ammo and everything, we had our ups and downs. Nothing going to move in a straight line. I always say that. I say it for a reason. But when it comes to ammo, it's a reason why the ammo level is where it at. Why, you know, there's shortage in other areas and, 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 and then other places and stuff in this country. Some people hit harder. Some people are not. But there's a reason, a reason why people are hoarding it right now, people. People are hoarding it because they're afraid they won't be able to, they won't see it again or get it again. And, you know, there's reason why that, you know, I have talked to many people. I'm, I talk to a lot of people out here buying ammo and stuff. Everybody's not on the same page when it comes to buying ammo, people. I'm talking about they're just not. Everybody's not paying attention to what's going on. And that's where I pretty much separate myself from a lot of people when it comes to ammo, because a lot of people think because, you know, someone else know the same thing. And, you know, with the media and with the things that this administration is doing to turn ammo against people, uh, to my, they're basically using the ammo to turn against people. They're trying to say, hey, you know, we need to stop the online sales of ammo. Uh, to my, we need to tax ammo. We need to add fees and stuff to ammo, people. And uh, to my, you know, they're trying to, they're treating this. They want to regulate this thing. And they're trying to come after the market when it comes to ammo. And so it can make it harder for you to get because they believe it's going to stop um, gun violence and gun crimes and stuff out there. That's what they believe, people. So with that said, uh, to my fear. Fear is the driver in this country and everything. The administration is using fear when it comes to ammo. Headlines using fear when it comes to ammo and stuff like that. And then people fear that they won't get the ammo. And I, I've been saying for a while, I'm talking about, you know, some, some states are going through this where they're putting uh, protocols in place before you can just get the ammo. They're not going to make it easy. Yes, identification, showing some type of identification is one of them. But doing a background check, have to get a permit uh, to my, and stuff like that to get in the stuff. See, they're putting these little loopholes in place so it can separate you from that because they believe that it's going to stop gun violence. Everything they're possibly doing with ammo, people. I'm talking about it, the old way of ammo is out, people. I'm talking about it's a reason why you see huge lines across this country. These people are not going out here and, and just wasting time. They're not standing out there hoping and wishing and praying that they could just score a box of 100 rounds, 50 rounds, something, some type of ammo, people. They, they're just not doing this for, for, for up to my, with the administration and some of the stuff that they're doing, up to my, it is really pushing people, driving people to get this stuff. And, you know, up to my, a lot of people stand in line and you hear, you know, a lot of people just are talking among themselves and stuff like that. But people are hoarding. Up to my, you seeing things that, yes, doing ammo shortage, people stop training and stuff like they're going to range. But I'm talking about it actually stopped a lot of people from actually going out and doing a whole lot of training. There's some training still going on, but not on the level of people. Do you know how many gun ranges I have been to? Public gun ranges, indoor gun ranges, 
and the traffic is low. I'm talking about you can't believe it. Some of these guys who've been running these ranges been running it for 30 years, people, haven't seen nothing like it. I'm talking about when people are shooting at these ranges now, everybody's picking their brass up. Everybody. I'm talking about this one guy at the range and stuff normally pick up brass and stuff like that when people get through shooting. There's no brass to pick up, people, because everybody's picking it up. Everybody is taking advantage of every little cost saving, whatever they can do to save some type of money when it comes to ammo, even reloaders and stuff. I'm to my everybody is doing everything across the scale. I'm to my early on when this thing kicked off, I talked about you know 12 gauge and stuff like that. We started seeing shotguns flying off the shelves. I'm to my all your other rounds and stuff, handgun rounds and popular rifle rounds, that ammo was already being hit. 12 gauge was still there. I remember if y'all watched, it was a video a long time ago. Um, it was a lady that showed you had a cart full of 12 gauge. She knew what was going on. She knew something early on. And she went on snatching up, she was snatching up cases of ammo at the Walmart and everything. She looked at crazy at the time, but I didn't say she, I didn't think she was crazy. I think, I just think she was just a hell of a curve. She knew what was coming down the pipe. Now you can't find 12 gauge at your local academies. Um, some of your Cabela's and stuff like that. It's a lot of dumb sports. Now you can't find 12 gauge. People stand in line just to get 12 gauge people. I'm talking about this is the type of stuff that no one could have predicted, people. No one could have predicted this. I'm talking about a lot of us has prepared and we talked about this. I'm talking about, you know, I remember watching social media when it came to ammo for a long time. There was a lot of people that was already on to it, but the flood that we have got people and it's feeding on itself, which is going to extend this shortage, um, you know, some time out that no one could really right now forecast. I don't care what a lot of these people say when it comes to ammo and stuff, what is going on. We have we have administration who are trying their best. They're keeping their foot on the gas. And as long as they're standing in the headlines, as long as they said they're trying to ban online sales of ammo, as long as they're trying to tax it, as long as they're trying to regulate it, up to my, as long as they're trying to do all that type, that type of stuff, people, buying ammo and hoarding the ammo is not going to stop. Up to my, I see people in the comments. I see people in other places telling people to stop buying ammo. It's not going to happen. Up to my, with this administration... And a lot of people now, I'm talking about when we used to talk about, you know, Biden before the election, way early on before Biden was picked to be, to be the president, the nominee, I'm talking about a lot of people were just thinking it was rhetoric. I was seeing comments and I'm like, you know, I wish these people would really wake up and see what's headed. Some people just, you know, believe that Biden wasn't going to do some of the things that he's doing. And guess what? His whole agenda is strictly going against the Second Amendment. I'm talking about he's using headlines. The media is on his side. They're doing everything, people. And what is at risk right now? Our, our pretty much two-way businesses that I have been talking about is at huge risk. You have ammo retailers who are facing lawsuits. You have farm, um, firearm companies are facing lawsuits. So think about this, people. This is huge. We in an era, uh, to my, that you know, a lot of people don't understand where we're headed to. Uh, to my, that I say with this long-term mindset that we have in a two-way community, people, uh, to my, we've been seeing this type of stuff and we're seeing things that have happened in the two-way community that we don't want to see when it comes to your gun organization being weakened up. I have talked about that. The two-way community talked about that many a times, people, whether it's their fault or not. All I'm just saying, they're trying to pretty much tear down every single part of the two-way community that they could possibly get their hands on. And ammo, people, is going to be the new goal. I'm just telling you. There's people right now who, you know, this is something that they, they, I'm to my, it's, it's, it's something that they doing on a daily basis. They doing this on a daily basis now, trying to get this ammo because some afraid that they won't sit again. There's ammo. I talked to hundreds. There's ammo that they haven't seen and can't get no more. I'm to my, so that is happening too. And so that the reason why people is trying to get as much as they possibly can. But when you add every, every individual person up who is trying to prepare themselves, then you get what we're seeing across this world right now. And especially, you know, right now, ammo is in the headlines, even from, you know, ammo confiscation, ammo seizure. Um, to my, they're busting people with ammo, criminals with ammo. I'm to my every single thing, people. So I kind of want to talk about that a little bit and let you know, people, I'm to my, it's not going to stop right now. The ammo is not going to stop. You see it spilling out of here. That's how much ammo is in here, people. But you see it spilling out. It's very shiny stuff and everything. Uh, to my, right now, people are just doing all they possibly can to get this gold and everything. So... That's the reason why people is hoarding ammo people because, hey, they're afraid they won't see it again. And with some of the steps that I'm seeing and everything, or to my just buying it or ordering it and having it sent to your front door and stuff, 
or to my, guess what? It, it, that might not be something we'll be able to do without having to pretty much do a background check or, you know, or have it transferred um, from, you know, from one place to another to an FFL for you to go to fill out paperwork or they might limit it, have, you know, you can't get with this much, you can't get with that much. So them are some of the things, people, that, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to really put out there to get people, you know, to, to sink in their mind. And there's a lot of people I talked to had never... Didn't even think of that, you know, didn't, didn't know they trying to stop it online. They didn't know, they didn't know that type of stuff. So it's a lot of things. That's the reason why I pump these videos out like I do, trying to reach as many people as possible. And I know a lot of y'all remember when I said it was a lot of people on the fence. Some people would say, well, if they don't know by now, then they would never know. It ain't that many people on the fence. They should know by now. And guess what? Right now, this is April. Background checks is through the roof. People still trying to get their first form. People still trying to get their first box of ammunition, people. It's not going to stop people. So I appreciate you for watching. Hit that like button, people. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.